Hey boys and girls, this is going to be a general love reading for the sign of Taurus. Remember, it is general, so it may not resonate with everyone. It's kind of impossible, but you can always get a personalized reading. And these are vice versa energy. So if it's not you, it's the person you're dealing with. Um, also, I've made a new Facebook page. Um, same name, Moon Girl Tarot and more. And I'll be posting things on there that I can here. So make sure to give it a like. I'll put a link below. And here are my three flying cards for you. First, we got the Four of Pentacles upright then we got the eight of cups reverse then we got the page of swords reverse um with the with the four of pentacles I feel like someone's being um someone's clinging on to this relationship they're holding on to this relationship um tightly they're holding on to it they want to make it work uh then we have the eight of um cups so even though there's been some problems here and there um, this person still wants to continue working on this relationship. Uh, then we have the page of um, swords. Um, however, I do feel that you're going to get kind of blindsided by some information. The pages are all about um, messages and stuff. So something might be coming towards you. Um, some kind of message. You might find something out. You're going to be blindsided. Or they will. Because remember, these are vice versa energies. Let's look at the bottom of the deck. Okay, at the bottom of the deck, we have the Two of Cups. So I feel like if you are someone who is single, I do feel someone is coming towards you. Um, someone is coming towards you. If not uh, a renewal of an old flame, if at the very least... Um, Maybe a new friendship that's going to lead into uh, something more. If you are in a relationship, even though you have been having problems here, I do feel that you're kind of, kind of like reignite that that love you had. Um, you, you know, you're gonna um, come to some kind of understanding. Um, you know, you might feel more lovey dovey. Then we have the Seven of Cups. Yeah, whoever it is that's holding on to this relationship, you know, they do have a strong desire to try to make it work. They have a strong desire to want to be in this relationship. Then we have the, what is this? The Two of Swords. However, I do, you know, the moon is here. Just like it's at the Eight of uh, Cups. Um, and then we have the Page of Swords. So I do feel that someone's not being completely truthful with you. I do feel that there is, um, um, you know, some kind of lies. There's something, okay? Let's see. Um, the next one is the Four of Cups. So with the Four of Cups, I do feel that once whatever it is that comes out, someone here is going to be very disappointed. Very disappointed. Um, it's going to cause them sadness. Um, they might even feel kind of like disgusted by the whole situation. Um, then we have the Five of Wands. Mm -hmm. um, yeah, I see conflict I, I feel there's going to be conflict obstacles um struggles because of whatever it is that comes out yep then we have the uh the tower and it's in reverse so you know shit did hit the fan it's going to hit the fan uh, because of the situation and um you know i feel like there's going to be some unhappiness here some kind of um struggle and change okay then we have the ten of pentacles reverse um i kind of feel like someone's kind of taking like a gamble in this relationship um um like they're gambling it they're doing things they're not supposed to even though they know that there might be a chance where um they can lose this relationship, but they're still kind of doing whatever it is they're doing. Okay. Then we have the lovers in reverse. Hmm. Yeah. I mean, and this might cause some separation. 
um, because of it. Um, I mean, whatever it is that you're doing, it's just, you know, it's, you know, you're doing something wrong. Um, someone here is very unreliable or they feel the person's unreliable. Then we have judgment and it's in reverse. So I do feel delays. I do feel frustrations, um, indecisions. Someone here is very worried about this relationship. Then we have the seven of wands. Um, you know, there is a bit of, there's a little bit of trickery here. There's some, you know, someone might be having new plans, uh, plans of their own. Um, okay. Then we have the Ten of Wands. Remember, the Tens are all about completions. So there might be some kind of end to something. Um, I do see that there's a lot of... Um, um, there, there's a lot of, um, work, like someone feels like they've done a lot of work, um, there's just, um, they feel overwhelmed, um, maybe excessive pressure on them, um, about this relationship, um, There might be a little bit of selfishness going on here as well. Okay. Then we have another 10, the 10 of swords. So yeah, this is causing someone a lot of pain, sleepless nights. They kind of feel like they're being stabbed in the back. Um, disillusion. Um, mental anguish. Yeah. Then we have the... Knight of Wands. So I feel like someone here is a bit of a flirt. A bit of a flirt. Um, yeah. And that might be causing some stress in the relationship as well. Uh, however, I do see that some of you might be going on some kind of uh, trip. It doesn't necessarily have to be somewhere far away. But I do see movement. Yeah. So whoever it is that's the flirt here, I'm kind of leaning more towards it being a male and again it's vice versa energy so if it's not you it's the other person and this is more like a husband type um like maybe father he's confident um stability is very important to him or her what else <laughs> yeah then we have the wheel of fortune it's a karma card remember guys um, you reap what you sow, whatever goes around comes around, so watch your ass, okay? Um, because it might bite you back in the ass, whatever it is that you're, you're doing. So there might be some kind of disappointments, maybe a broken heart. Um, and this is what I have for you guys. I hope this reading was a blessing to you. And if you would like to bless me, you can tip or donate at paypal.com me slash moon goddess 11 i really appreciate your subscriptions your likes and your comments they mean so much to me and um stay magical thanks guys